let's get started by clicking on the icon on the desktop. I'll launch the program. Uh, there's the interface. Let's go for the profile drop-down menu, first of all, which sets the screen resolution. It gives you a number of options in here. We're going to go with the 480 by 320 iPod Touch MP4 option. Uh, next is to set the destination folder. I have one already set up for that. Okay, the video quality, well, it's got to be the highest, and the audio quality the same, if you're fussy like me. Next up, let's go over and find the DVD we need to rip. Uh, there it is. Just click OK on that once we've highlighted it. It immediately starts populating the center window. It's quite a number of uh, chapters and files in this. I think it's a couple of hours long. So what I'm going to do is deselect everything and select one I know to be pretty short, which is the movie trailer. We'll just go up to the very top, deselect everything, and go down and uh, select the particular chapter that I want. Press record. Immediately it'll start ripping. There we go, 1%, 2%. Right, we're going to pause it for a moment and come back when it gets into the 90s. Okay, there we go, folks. It's up at 97%. Tells you the time left, the frame rate, etc. And complete it. It really is as simple as that to rip a DVD. Go away, have a bit of lunch, come back, and your DVD is completed. Okay, just let's open the destination folder. That's the one we said earlier, where we're sending the finished file. And now it's just a matter of drag and drop into the Movies folder within iTunes. Sync everything up and the movie will be ready to go. It really is a fantastic little program, folks. If you want to have a look around the website at a few other programs we have, including that, and maybe uh, you're interested in one for...